Hello students, how are you all? Hope you are doing well. You are staying at home and staying safe. Today here I am with the second part of the chapter, Health and Hygiene. In the first part we have discussed about all the components of food and why they are essential and now we will discuss about disease. First, let's understand what is the meaning of the word disease. If you break it, it is dis plus ease. Do you know student what is the meaning of ease? Ease means comfort. Dis-ease means am absent of comfort. When you are not feeling comfortable, you are having a disease. Now see, sometimes students you say that ma'am, I am having stomach pain or my head is paining, I feel like vomiting. These all are symptoms. Symptoms means that you may have certain diseases. See student, disease is a condition when your body or a part of your body is not working properly. So how we get a disease? We can get disease in numerous ways. See, some diseases may be due to your bad food habits and some, due to, uh, some are caused due to some microorganism. Those may be bacteria, fungus, protozoa, virus. Nowadays, one of the most common disease and you know all about it, that is Corona. So you all know this is a disease caused by a virus that is Corona virus. That means this disease is caused by a virus that is a microorganism. So students, in this chapter, we will learn about all the different types of diseases. See, broadly we can classify diseases into two types. One is communicable and another one is non-communicable. Communicable means those diseases which can be transferred from one infected person to a healthy person. Those type of diseases are called communicable diseases. And those diseases which cannot get transferred from one person to another person means one infected person to one healthy person. Those type of diseases are known as non-communicable diseases. See, for instance, Corona, this is a, a communicable disease. That is the reason our government had initiated this lockdown. That means we are staying at home and we don't want to get infected from any other person. So we must stay at home. And there are some diseases that you would know such as diabetes, then cancer. If you, in your family some people, some your grandfather or some anyone may have diabetes. But if you sit with them, if you eat with them, will you get diabetes? No. That means diabetes is a non-communicable disease. So first we will start with non-communicable disease. Diseases are those diseases which cannot be spread from an infected person to a healthy person. This type of diseases may be caused due to deficiency of certain nutrients in your diet or due to improper functioning of your body parts or organs. So here let us first discuss about the deficiency diseases. What are deficiency diseases? Those diseases which are caused due to lack of certain nutrients in your diet. In this chapter, we will concentrate on mainly those deficiency diseases which are caused due to lack of vitamins and minerals. So, let's start. The first disease is night blindness. Night blindness is caused due to deficiency of vitamin A. Now, we can get vitamin A from carrots, papaya, milk, butter, fish. And what are the symptoms of night blindness? The symptom is that the person is unable to see in dim light. Dim light means low light. Next is scurvy. Scurvy is caused due to the lack of vitamin C in the diet. You can get vitamin C from all the citrus fruits such as lemons, oranges and the symptoms are that you, the person who is suffering from scurvy will have bleeding gums and swelling swelling jaws okay the next one is rickets rickets is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin d and some mineral that is calcium and phosphorus what is the symptom the symptom is that the 
the growth of the child will, will become delayed and his legs will be bow shaped and he will he will have very you know fragile bones he may get fractured very easily and you can get phosphorus and calcium from the diet if you intake more milk or of leafy vegetables you can get phosphorus and vitamin d the chief, vitamin d the chief source is sunlight next is goiter goiter is caused due to the deficiency of iodine mineral iodine you know student there is a gland here that gland is known as thyroid gland and that th gland secretes an hormone known as thyroxine hormone so uh, in order to secrete thyroxine hormone that gland requires iodine if you are not having if you are not if the intake of iodine is less in your diet then the thyroid gland will not be able to secrete thyroxine and the gland will swell so what is the symptom the swelling in the neck and this type of disease can be cured or can be prevented by having iodized salt iodized salt means iodine is added in the salt or eating any seafood next one is anemia anemia is a disease caused by due to the deficiency of mineral iron and iron is an important part of the pigment of our body that is blood hemoglobin hemoglobin is the red pigment of the blood and iron is one of the chief constituent of hemoglobin so if there is a deficiency in the amount of iron intake then the level of hemoglobin will decrease so you should eat the foods such as spinach apple guava jaggery diseases which are caused by microbes or germs and can pass from sick sick person to a healthy person these type of diseases are known as communicable diseases these type of diseases includes mal malaria cholera typhoid smallpox measles and these are caused all by germs or microbes see germs and microbes are everywhere and they can multiply very fast the four major type of germs are first bacteria protozoa fungi and viruses they are the four major types of germs the disease caused by bacteria are cholera tuberculosis pneumonia typhoid the disease caused by fungi are ringworm athlete's foot jock itch and the diseases caused by protozoa are amoebic dysentery malaria and the diseases caused by viruses are common cold measles chicken pox aids and the disease which we all know nowadays that is corona okay now how these diseases are spread so you know germs they are they are everywhere in also see germs are also present in my hands i cannot see them so what we do it is instructed that we should always wash our hands before having or before eating anything yes or no so you cannot see germs they are actually microbes microbes means microorganism those organism which you cannot see by your unaided eyes now unaided means you need some aid here aid does not does not means your specs aid means microscope so diseases can be spread in different ways first is from direct contact see if you touch an infected person or if you touch the things of infected person such as their clothes or their utensils you may get the disease such type of diseases are like tuberculosis chicken pox measles next is it may be transmitted through air see if a healthy person means if a infected person coughs or sneezes then the virus or bacteria or the microbes comes out from his nose and it gets mixed with the air that is the reason nowadays we all are using mask so that those microbes cannot get inside our body or inside our mouth okay and these type of diseases again this may be tuberculosis of course corona 
next is measles all this type of diseases can be spread through air next is insect bite see we all know about one insect that is mosquito and they can transmit diseases but you know how see if a person is having malaria or dengue then the mosquito will sit over the person it will suck the blood and that blood will contain the germs and that blood as it has sucked the blood so it is inside its body or stomach now that mosquito is a carrier of the disease and if that mosquito bites another a healthy person then that germs from the stomach of the mosquito will enter the healthy person and it will cause the disease now diseases may also be spread through infected food and water see we should always cover our food and we should not eat the food which is which is not good or which has become spoiled due to any reason so see every time whenever you are having some street food your mother is telling don't have it you may have some dysentery or something like that you will vomit at home see why they tell so because street foods are not prepared in a hygienic way they don't wash their hands so see as you know germs are everywhere so that germs may get inside those food and that may infect you all last one is through wounds or cuts if you get a cut or a wound then you should cover it with a bandaid and you know students whenever you get a cut you get an injection that you all are afraid of i know that but you get a injection that is step back injection step back injection is for the disease tetanus like whenever you get a cut from in that place the germs may enter and you may get certain diseases how we can prevent the diseases there are different ways by which you can prevent diseases first one is if you avoid direct contact with the person students again i am highlighting the point nowadays we are in lockdown situation why we are locked down because this virus we don't have any medicine for this virus and the germs are everywhere so if we don't come near the person or we don't touch the person we don't touch their things then we will not get that disease so one of the most important way is to avoid direct contact with the person who is having that disease next one is through diseases are also spread through air so whenever you are sneezing or coughing you should keep your face covered that is one of the reason why we are using mask nowadays so that the virus will not spread outside and that will not infect any other healthy person next one is that if you don't eat contaminated food and water see you should always drink boiled water and you should cover the food items properly otherwise you will see there are so many flies and you know flies always hover around all dirty pungent smelling places and from that place it will come and sit over your food so you you can imagine how many microbes of germs it can bring to your food next is if you avoid the insect bite see we have we should use like mosquito nets why we use mosquito nets to avoid the mosquitoes next is we use mosquito repellent creams mortines so that the the insect will not bite you so that they will not infect you one more thing you should keep your surrounding clean you should not allow water to stagnate over your house and near your house and you know stagnant water is the breeding ground of insects such as mosquitoes so if you don't allow them to breed breed means to increase their number then automatically the amount of spread of disease will reduce next the most important and the essential one is vaccination you all know about vaccines yeah whenever you think about vaccines you think about injections yes or no so vaccinations are for the diseases which are caused by viruses so what they do the scientists they take that virus they kill it or they make it weak and they incorporate that virus inside your body yes they incorporate that virus 
inside your body then what will happen as that virus is weak that virus cannot infect our body but there is one more important and interesting thing behind it you know our body has a defense system like we have army police bsf our body also have a defense system they are what they are our white blood cells and they fight with the viruses how they fight they don't have any guns or bombs or like that they fight with a thing called antibody they can create a chemicals known as antibody and that antibody will kill the virus interesting so you all know that we all are thinking that when the vaccination of our corona virus will be discovered then we can again go back to our work so you see vaccination and if once you get vaccination then if you if once you get vaccinated then 99% chances are there that you won't get the disease why 99% why not 100% see virus they are always evolving and if you are weak you are not well they may infect you but 99% you are safe if you had the vaccine so students hope you understood the chapter and it was helpful for you please go through the video see the book read the chapter and if you have any confusion you can contact me till then stay at home stay safe and i will come again very soon bye